So this right here is a $60 photo. That's because that's one of the rarest photos of a track you'll ever see. And it all starts with this right here, a racing reference, where it says Air Base Speedway in Greenville, South Carolina, and this legend right here. So I'm just going to paraphrase this because it's a lot, but y'all can go watch these two videos right here to really get the end-up story. So go look at those after this. So since 1951, this is all we know about the track is that it was called Air Base Speedway. It was in Greenville, South Carolina. That's it. It was believed to be called Air Base Speedway because this is Donaldson Air Force Base in Greenville, South Carolina, and the track is right near here. So Slap Shoes goes on his investigation, and this is the best picture of the track he could find, which is an old archive picture from the government way, 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 way back then. It's probably from like the 50s, you know, 51, 52, something like that. And that's when he makes this video right here, trying to find information on it. Now, again, nobody knows nothing. He spent forever trying to find information and couldn't. Till he made this video. And what's crazy is to see that Bob Flock, Tim Flock, Buck Baker, Herb Thomas. Like, there's NASCAR legends in this race. But nobody knows when it happened, where it happened, what the track, nothing. There's no pictures, there's no documentation of any kind. So Slap Shoes makes the original video, puts out a bounty. He wants both a picture of the track and the track in action. That's when he gets this. And this. And this. And somehow even this. And this track right here is to blame. As you see here, the track was originally known as Greenville Textile Speedway. See, the track didn't even last, not even a decade. So, a lot of the records for this track were accidentally given to Greenville Pickens Speedway in the confusion. What's crazy about it is if you read this article right here, it says the race starts at 9 p.m. A race at night in the 50s. That's completely unheard of. I mean, this picket fence as a wall around your track was seen as bougie. Like, that's, that's just crazy. You can even see here the light poles on the inside of the track. Now, what's crazy is how far ahead this track was for the time, but it didn't last. And that's just because of the owner. Think of this except as a track promoter. But luckily, due to this guy right here, the track's history is not preserved. And that's how we know everything that I just told you. And if you go check out this video right here, he actually goes to the site where the track used to be. And you can still see remnants of it. And so that bounty that was $60 was cashed in with this picture and the picture of those cars you've seen earlier on track. Now, if you like this video, go check out these two videos right here. Now, this slap shoes, this guy that found all this information, go check them out. You'll love those. And that's the story of how a man found NASCAR's Atlantis.